Good morning, campers. I am a little bit behind schedule because I took a zero yesterday at the shelter, which I can't remember if I've ever done that before. <laughs> I only did it because of today's hike, which is Mahusik Notch and Mahusik Arm and Old Speck Mountain. Now, just so you understand, Mahusik Notch is uh, widely considered the hardest mile of the AT. It is nothing but gigantic boulders that you have to crawl between and under and through and around and over and um, based on what I've heard from other hikers coming the other way, it'll take anywhere from one to three hours to get through that one mile stretch. One to three hours. <clears throat> and I didn't want to do that when it was uh, the morning after a really heavy rain because I knew it would be very wet and they were calling for possible thunderstorms in the afternoon and I knew that by the afternoon I would be up on what's called Mahusik Arm which is a, uh, a ridge line you have to climb up uh, that's also one of the steepest if not the steepest climb on the AT and then after that is Old Speck which is, has a real Real long, steep down. Boy, I'm already getting into the rocks here. Okay, so just to give you a little background, Mahusik Notch. I'll show you when I get there what it looks like. But between that and then climbing the arm, the steepest section of the AT, and then climbing down Old Speck Mountain, uh, it's, it's less than 10 miles today. About 9.6. And it's probably going to be my hardest day ever just logistically, the physical challenge of it. So I didn't feel comfortable yesterday doing that after heavy rain when I knew it was gonna be soaked and there could be a lot of mud on the trails. And, uh, you know, with the possible electrical storm, uh, it was just too risky to me. Now we didn't get the thunderstorms. So it actually turned out a little sunny and it was windy, uh, but it was nice, so a lot of a lot of people went ahead and did it, and I'm sure they were fine. But uh, I just I didn't want to I didn't want to tempt fate, basically. So uh, today's the day. Today I'm pushing through all the way to Grafton Notch. It's called. I'm going to get a a shuttle to the hostel in Andover, and from there I'll do some slack packing. So as you can see behind me there, I'm climbing straight up this hill. <laughs> And when I get to the notch, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. It's going to be a crazy day. I'm at the top of Fulling Mill Mountain. You can see the fog blowing in behind me here. Through the trees there. No view to speak of. It's just all white in every direction, as you can see. Um, so I have to descend now into Mahusik Notch and then attempt the traverse of those, those crazy boulders. I'm hoping this fog lifts by the time I get up Mahusik Arm so I have some views. Uh, this will be disappointing if I get up there and this is <laughs> all I can see. Uh, but yeah, so head down now. When I get to Mahusik Notch, I'm going to have a snack and some hydration, uh, both to give me some energy and some, some electrolytes, and also to uh, lighten my load a little bit, get some, a little bit of extra weight off my, off my pack. Every little ounce helps at this point. Well, I've reached the infamous Mahusik Notch. I've just gotten started. I've just gone through this. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to have a snack, I'm going to have some hydration. Could take me a couple hours to get through this. Uh, I don't want to have my stomach rumbling. I want to have some energy, some calories, carbs, protein, fats. I want to be hydrated, have some electrolytes. Don't want any muscle cramps. So I'm standing on top of a boulder right now. Uh, if I slip, uh, it'll be a bad ending. So I'm going to find a safe place, probably right down here. Uh, have my snack and my hydration, and then we're going to tackle this sucker. And that's where I just came from, Mahusik Notch. 
and uh, this is where I am right now, standing here. And I have this crazy puzzle to solve now. Okay, I just came from that way. Water running here in the Mahusik Notch. I'm headed that way. I'll take you with me a little bit, but it's really treacherous and I may need both hands here at some point. I'm not going to risk an injury just for YouTube's benefit. Uh, oh, okay. So, let's see. Come up through here. Hmm. There's a precarious spot for my foot. All right, I'm gonna swing my leg up over this rock and get onto that rock. If all goes well. Oh, there we go. So, anyways, you can see it's, this is actually one of the easier parts right now. <laughs> Believe it or not, you can just see this jumbled mess in front of me and behind me. Uh, requiring use of my poles with the rubber tips and my hands sometimes both hands sometimes both poles <clears throat> sometimes a pole in a, a hand but uh, okay get up on top of this thing all right well I think I'm gonna put away the camera right now but you get an idea of uh, what this is like I've been out here for an hour and 10 minutes now, I'm hoping I'm, I'm in the second half here, getting close to the end. Okay, so I'm, I'm done with Mahusik Notch. Sorry I couldn't share very much footage there, but I was using both feet and both hands most of the time. Very, very treacherous. Sometimes one foot on one rock, another foot on another rock, and my poles on two other places, you know, trying to brace myself and then prepare for the next step. It took me an hour and 25 minutes to get through the notch, which is uh, respectable. I wasn't rushing, I was taking my time, trying to be real careful, not get hurt. Uh, a few observations I'll share. One, if anybody says, oh, don't worry about slipping, the rocks are super grippy, even when they're wet, which one hiker actually told me, uh, BS. Those rocks can be slippery, wet, or dry. Uh, and my foot did slip several times, but I was always in a position where it was not a uh, dangerous slip. Uh, but I would never try that in the rain or right after a rain where everything is soaking wet. You're asking for trouble. You're at least gonna increase, su substantially increase the amount of time it takes to get through. Uh, next. Uh, everyone says put away your poles use both hands. I never put my poles away In fact, I put the rubber tips on Give myself better grip on the rocks And that was a huge help Because I could I had four points of contact then both feet and then both Trekking pole tips and I could put my trekking poles way out You know six seven feet away brace myself balance myself catch myself uh, use it as a as a leverage point, whatever. Uh, I only had to put my poles down two or three times in order to pull myself up, push myself up. Um, or sometimes I put both hold, both poles in one hand, uh, as I have now. Uh, put them both in one hand and, and use one pole, and then use my other hand to grab onto a rock or a root or something. Uh, but. 90% of the time at least, I was uh, using both poles. Uh, let's see, what else? Next thing, it's a huge advantage to have long arms and legs, <laughs> like I do. There were several rocks that I could step between or pull myself up onto, etc. I wouldn't have been able to do if I was a, of a shorter or stockier build. So that came in handy. Although I will say that if someone is uh, like a gymnast or a ballet dancer, they'll probably um, have an easier time because they're of their foot strength and their sense of balance and just their overall body strength. You know, gymnasts are very strong. 
for their size. And they should be able to navigate through there relatively uh, easily. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, oh, anybody says they did it in under an hour? Substantially under an hour? Like, a, okay, if they say 58 minutes, okay, that's one thing. But if they say, like, oh, I did it in 40 minutes, they're either lying or they went way too fast and took way too many risks. Uh, which they may have done. They may have taken a lot of risks. Uh, you know, an hour and 25 minutes, I was taking my time going slow, really calculating my, my steps, you know, kind of looking, see w which way to go, which way is the best way to go. Uh, I would not have wanted to push myself much faster than that. So, so that's out of the way. Up next, I got my Hoosick arm, which is a 1500 foot climb in about a mile. Steepest climb on the AT. I just loaded up with water, so let's, let's get her done. Made it to the top of Mahusik Arm. Oh, that was more physically demanding than Mahusik Notch, I have to say. That was tough. That was a very steep climb up rock. It's mostly flat rock. Holy cow. All right. Uh, uh, I have to go down a little bit and then up a little speck. And then call the hostel for my shuttle. And then climb down old speck to Grafton Notch. Holy cow. It's 1230. I've been hiking for five and a half hours. And I've only gone like four and a half miles. Brutal, just brutal. So that is the Spec Pond Campsite Shelter. Very nice, very new. You'll see it in the background here, so I walk by it. Um, I am headed, there it is. I'm headed back to the AT. This is just about point one off the trail. Decided to come check it out, have my lunch here. Uh, it was an exhausting 5.1 mile hike. <laughs> uh, I've still got 4.6 miles. <laughs> Hard to believe I'm only a little more than half done, but the first 5.1 were the most difficult. It was just super slow going between the notch and the arm. Uh, the next 4.6, about one mile up to the top of uh, Old Speck Mountain. And then uh, three and a half miles down, almost completely downhill. So when I get up to the top of spec, I got to call the shuttle at the hostel and let them know I'm on my way down the mountain. So there we go. I'll give you one last, one last little view here of the spec pond there in the background. That's spec pond. Very, very nice, very serene. It's the highest pond on the AT, 3,400 feet roughly, and I guess it's pretty cold because it, it's so high, it doesn't get very warm, uh, but it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, serene pond. Um, reminds me of the ponds and the lakes in the Adirondacks. So, all right, I got to get a move on. I don't know how late the shuttles are run. It's quarter to two. I got 4.6 miles. I still got to get up to Speck Mountain.